In today's video, we are going to talk about external fundamentals, technical and fundamentalist analysis. And let's jump into it. So uh, I'm going to add some dates, some events, and then we are going to try uh, to make a better sense about it. I already have an idea, but let's let's take a better look. So as you guys know, the trial let's start with the trial yes yes so let's start adding the dates so this one will be the trial let's use a green okay which is also trial green uh so this is most likely the date when the trial will be over by march and it's also interesting because it's the spring pivot okay uh what else we have um let's use a black bar for the federal reserve me uh, nest meetings which will take place on february 1 first then oh folks i don't remember but i think it's february may june or july is the next one so let's go for july okay Pons. uh what else we have the trial, the phones, regulations we don't know when it is going to take place. Maybe it comes right after the trial. I'm not sure. But, he... <clears throat> but so let's go. So as we know, what we have here, it's a macro bullish continuation pattern. Um, some people were hoping or believing that the trial could be end uh over this year i was very very skeptical about it but we don't know right so i was uh i had this the the marsh in mind you guys are aware of this we talked about this in uh previous videos multiple times so today i believe it's crystal clear that it uh we, we will start to see the magic on marsh so uh we are in December already. Things are very close here. I there, there is no room for a uh, let's say upside movement from here. There is no evidence. Uh, we don't have any kind of bullish activity so far. So this Christmas, it's probably going to be for a fire sale. Maybe this late late December, uh, middle of January but there will be a fire sale and this will be the bottom okay also we've been talking about the last train event for quite some time you guys are aware and this is the end of uh, this pullback if we can say it okay so now why the the phones is important as you guys remember, since they started to raise interest rates, the markets being, uh, have been going down. Uh, the, the, the pivot will happen in three steps. The first step already started, which was they raised 0, 0 0.75 before in the previous one. Uh, three days ago, they raised only 0 0.50. The next meeting, they will raise another 0 0.50. So we will have a 5 or 5 and 25 uh, points before they start to relax. Uh, roads to, let's say, 0 again. Okay. We have some dates, working with some dates. Uh, probably June, they will go from uh, 0 0.25 to 0 okay and that's most likely when the markets will start to go up in a frenzy what we do know for sure 
is that from let's say key two or key three all the markets not currencies okay but precious metals crypto stocks will start to go up again like crazy and uh maybe we are talking about 18 months the end of 2024 maybe january 2025 and then we are going to see the collapse across all the marks that taking place we already talked about this one year ago and uh, on youtube but on twitter way way before when i was explaining the, the issues on binance bitfinex okx huobi tether and etc you guys are aware this is nothing new but i don't believe these things are going to blow up in the short term okay i don't but again i'm speculating okay i don't know it so my idea is all these things will blow up late 2024 most likely maybe september october but a uh there is still some things to happen before the, the this collapse happens okay also we will uh okay i've bitcoin my uh the last bitcoin update that i recorded is still the analysis i made it was months ago is still a hundred percent percent a hundred percent in place exactly like i described it and the target i believe we are right about the target as well so this is also connected to xrp and stocks so if you haven't seen please go and take a look so uh, all these things being said now let's take a look again on xrp there's the the structure that we uh that we know let's draw a 2025 bar which is going to be most likely the deadline for the markets right here so let's go for 2025 now let's go from below i will use a dotted line here and i will explain why so the solid line is for things that are confirmed or in place the dashed line is for things that are still unfolding but it's it's very unlikely to change the structure okay uh we are on the the oh so this is the monthly then we will jump into the weekly and you guys will have a better idea i will break this thing down all the way to the four hours okay so why i'm using the dashed line here so this is a set pivot okay it's in place it's not going to change this line is for the pivot that is coming and i strongly believe it is going to be a breach on the previous low here which was around 28 cents so maybe we are talking about 23 25 all this uh, the numbers that we talked about before okay so for the sake of this example um, 23 mm, i think maybe 24 25 but so it's not a big deal right we are not looking to nail a bottom but uh let's say 24 just for the sake of this example let's go into straight numbers two three perfect so uh now we match the line yes right here so this is my speculation for the next low yes there is one more low coming it's good news for some people it's bad news for others but time despite what is going to happen it's not going to change okay um just think about it <clears throat> xrp trial will be over by late february 8 marsh the spring pivot which is a date bullish for the markets we know this and uh, the fed pivot let's say the end of step a we also be around marsh so all those things are connected folks we back in 2016-17 the market the crypto market was in the lose 
one day one thing would, would skyrocket one would go down the other would go strongly up also but these days are gone they're not coming back the crypto market it's aligned with the uh, united states economy this is a fact we can see it okay that's why everything goes down everything goes up that's it some with more power others with less power but that's it okay and this is not going to change in the short term the only one the only one that can change this it's xrp because we don't know what is going to be the impact of uh let's say ripple win the trial we don't know what it's going to be an impact if we are going to end up with a strong bull break or if xrp will still follow the market rules we don't know but all that we do know is that there is one more low and then that's it that's the last chance to buy crypto at a discount so this is a fact uh so let me take down uh these lines here i will only leave the the trial but you guys are aware the the federal reserve stuff the the moves what we're expecting what they are doing and this is also very important guess why the us dollar will go up just a little bit most likely to then go down and in this move I strongly believe that will be the beginning of phase C or the, uh, the pivot itself. And this, uh, this last drop in the crypto market, it's connected to the dollar. So the dollar goes up, risk assets go down. Also gold will probably go down. And uh, right after silver, gold will also go up. Okay um uh, so why i'm using 2025 here because it's my deadline when things are probably going to be bad okay it's very close as you guys can see but uh this is about almost two years right 23 24 and so it's very close so uh there is one thing to consider on xrp it's it's uh when things start to collapse somehow xrp utility will kick in if so we are right about later regulations uh so again if this is true we are not going to see regulations now which means all the scammy tokens scam exchanges will make one final move before regulations cut them off for good this makes sense but again it's only speculation okay so we have to take notes about all those things think about it draw a line and pay attention okay again my plan is based on 2025 okay uh, yeah so now let's jump into the the weekly to have a better idea how things are here okay so again you guys know i'm not using these lines like I use it in the past. I'm just using for you guys to follow uh, what I'm trying to explain here for you to make a better sense. Uh, okay, so let's start with what we can see. Uh, let's go from this guy right here and this one right here. Or we can do even, oh yeah, yes, has to be these two guys right here. So well, let's go from here. Through here. And then this one here. Through here. So uh, do we have a kind or sort of... so? We already talked about fundamentals and external events. Uh, now we are going to talk about technical fundamentals. Okay, so the chart, behavior, candles, and yeah. So uh, on the second step on this analysis, now we will talk about the behavior, structures, and so on. 
so it's it is a falling behavior which is great is on the step number two ahead which means 66 percent plus developed we have uh, four pivots already which is right here and right here and again we are going to the final one we don't know exactly if it will be here. I think it will. But again, it's a speculation. And then we will most likely be ready to start go up. Okay. Uh, probably price will chase the, 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 the trial outcome. Okay. So let's say something like this. I'm speculating here, yes, but again, important thing, XRP doesn't have the same behavior as Bitcoin, okay? As you guys know, XRP and XLM, a few others as well, Monero also have a very, very different structure, which is full bullish continuation, okay? So we have no doubt about what is going to happen. We are just trying to make sense about time okay so uh this is probably going to be the last opportunity whatever the number is not trying to nail anything doesn't make any sense trying to nail and then we will be ready to go up again we don't know if it is going to be a um, a single move like a power one let's go back into the monthly just for guys to have a better understanding So uh, let's consider something develops around here, like like a bottom structure, okay? And instead of going up to catch the trial, because we always have two scenarios, right? We don't know how things will unfold, but we have a idea. So let's say or imagine something develops here, like a bottom, and then we get closer and closer to the trial. Uh, ripple won the trial and we end up with a power candle just like the ones we saw uh, back in the day right uh, so now we are going to this step number three of this analysis which is we already talked about targets possible scenarios multiple times in different perspectives so now let's let's try to do this again one more time Again, just to have an idea, because I, I still have questions. Uh, what we do know is that it is not going to be just a straight move up. We are probably going to see some development. So my question is... So uh, this is a sideways development before continuation, because it is not going to happen in a straight line. So let's say we end up with something like this. I don't mean uh, the, 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 the price in numbers, okay? It's just to have an idea. That's not the point. Try to nail price. Something like this. So usually it happens in three steps. Step number one, step number two, and step number three. That's almost how things always unfold, okay? There is also Elliott waves involved here, many other fundamentals, but it's just to have an idea, right, about time. Because again, I am very, very confident uh, on 2025, after the Fed, uh, multiple steps uh, before the, the, the pivot, okay? Uh, before, I was expecting a single move, which would be faster. A, B, and C takes more time. We are probably talking about six months. So it adds from 12 months to 18 months, okay? So, uh, yeah. 
so yes now let's jump into lower time frames let's go into the daily so this is the structure that we have right now this is completely awful and i'm going to show you why we need a solid line because there is no speculation here It doesn't have to be perfect. It's just to have an idea. So it is kind, kind of a megaphone structure when it is start to expand, but it's still trading inside, inside bar, which leads to bearish continuation in the short term. One more low. Okay. So uh, as you guys can see here, it trades inside this range from the last pivot, current pivot, inside bar. So all this action right here, it's inside these two pivots right here, which is bearish, not bullish. The only way XRP can break from, um, from this with a bullish move is with external events uh news okay oh there is another thing i forgot uh to talk about so let's talk about it quickly uh some people asked me uh Houston, what about the ppt the price protection theory uh are we aware of it I think so okay so let's jump here into let me see three days yeah right here so this xrp made this move when everything was going down everything and xrp was the only one going up so if this is a ppt which today i believe it is we can only have a confirmation after it already happened there is no other way so if xrp went down following everything else we would see such a move like this right everything went down xrp would go down as well so um uh, by going up it was we can consider it was a protection just like we saw back in 2020 which was a fact a price protection stuff it was and uh i made a video back in the day when people were sad thinking xrp would crash and we were right about it so let me show you it was a a hundred percent retracement right here so this was the low xrp went up against everything to then go down back to the place it started a hundred percent retracement a hundred percent bearish in the short term okay so this is today kind of evidence yes that the ppt it's really uh, a thing so there is someone protecting price from um from uh more harm more, you know a worse scenario and also as we know there are people from the other side of the world that hate xrp because they don't control xrp and they try to dump and make things look uh awful okay so back to the the thing we were taking a look so this is uh, again this is a bearish continuation structure and we also have kind of a head and shoulders which is unusual to see it uh, in such a range you know we usually see in tops but not uh into these ranges right here still it's something to consider uh down jones is 
it's going down it's going down so now bitcoin will go down and most likely xrp will follow this time okay and uh this is most likely the last or the heading to the bottom okay so let's take a quick look on the four oops excuse me so in this behavior right here it was weird but xrp went up but the <clears throat> the the break here from this structure was marginal this guy here was marginal was weak and then we knew that xrp wasn't uh moving by herself okay so uh again we needed to see to understand what was happening there is no other way and then this guy here as well wasn't bullish at all the sending triangle always bad ascending triangles almost always bad okay there is weakness we saw a breach right here then the breach itself and the marginal higher lows as you guys can see with also a breach right here that's the first that's the second that's the third so we had one breach oops 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 so we have one breach two three and four and now it's almost flat very close as you guys can see here okay so it's very very bad awful behavior xrp is not ready at all <clears throat> and uh yeah so again for some people this is going to be a amazing buying opportunity for others is going to be more pain before gains but again folks we are very close uh a few more months okay uh the good thing is we know uh, the window of time when the markets will be going up like crazy and it is going to be crazy imagine that's the last party the last one okay that's the uh, that's the event that is coming okay so uh i believe this is it for now i don't think we don't have uh, anything else to talk about at this moment all we can do is just wait and watch patiently uh, i will record another update before the new year okay so uh, i hope you guys have happy holidays happy christmas that you enjoy with your family or friends and uh and that you have peace okay so uh yes and i will see you guys soon stay safe and see ya.